Here's how the AI-powered Swedish Gripen E can stop a Taiwan invasion. In China's rhetoric has intensified, with President Xi Jinping stating, no one can stop the reunification, and warning against moves toward independence by Taiwan. And China has conducted large-scale military exercises around Taiwan, and some reports suggest Russia is helping China develop the capabilities for an airborne invasion. Sweden's Gripen E multi-role fighter is the fighter jet in the world, tailored to defeat Russia's Su-57, Su-35, MiG-31BM, and China's J-20, FC-31, J-16, and J-10C. It can provide Ukraine and Taiwan with a high survivability platform capable of contesting any airspace and defending against long-range threats. Designed for electronic warfare resilience, beyond visual range missiles, networked data-linked situational awareness, AESA radar, and dispersed operations, the aircraft's capabilities could alter the tactical balance either in the Ukraine war or in the event of a Taiwan invasion. Gripen's four pillars or design philosophy end like Russian and Chinese origin fighter jets, the Gripen E is a compact, modern, multi-role fighter designed as a system of systems warfighting capability rather than a standalone airframe. Its combat value against the Russian and Chinese Air Force rests on four interacting pillars. Sensor reach and fusion that increase detection and engagement options, a modern weapons mix that extends lethal range and kill probability, a robust electronic warfare package that degrades enemy radar and missile effectiveness, and an operational doctrine emphasizing dispersed basing, rapid turnaround, and high sortie generation. These pillars turn individual technical elements into tactical advantages on the battlefield. Sensor suite and situational awareness and Gripen E carries the Raven ES-05 Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA radar with a roll repositionable antenna, significantly expanding the aircraft's 120-degree field of regard and improving early detection and target confirmation. The Raven radar offers high jamming resistance and supports interleaved air-to-air -air and air-to-ground modes, thereby shortening sensor-to-shooter timelines. Complementing the radar is the Skyward G infrared search and track sensor for passive detection of hot contacts and anti-stealth queuing. Together with modern sensor fusion software and secure data links, these systems allow Gripen E crews to detect and track Russian and Chinese fighters or cruise missiles earlier, hand off tracks between aircraft and allied assets, and choose whether to engage actively or remain passive to preserve the element of surprise. This sensor architecture directly increases the number of usable beyond visual range, BVR engagement opportunities, and reduces vulnerability to standoff attacks. Weapons integration and Gripen E can field the MBDA Meteor BVR air-to-air -air missile, the IRIS-T short-range missile, and is also compatible with the AIM-120 AMRAAM family. This provides flexible loadouts for different threat environments. The Meteor's ramjet motor sustains high speed and kinetic energy late in flight, creating a much larger no-escape zone than legacy Russian R-77, R-27, and Chinese PL-15, PL-21 missiles. In operational terms, this enables any pilots to engage high-value Russian and Chinese fighters at greater standoff distances, increasing first-shot kill probability and forcing the adversary to alter combat tactics or accept greater risk of being shot down at beyond visual range. The Gripen E's 10 external hardpoints allow it to carry mixed packages of air-to-air -air missiles and air-to-ground precision weapons on the same sortie. This gives the theater commander the ability to shift from air defense patrols to offensive interdiction within a single mission, something older platforms cannot perform without reconfiguration. Electronic Warfare and Self-Protection Gripenes Integrated Orexis Electronic Warfare Suite includes digital radar warning receivers, electronic support measures, active jamming systems, towed decoys, and missile warning sensors. This gives the aircraft 360-degree threat detection and countermeasure coverage. In real combat, these systems allow Gripen E formations to conduct threat shaping by forcing enemy radars to emit and reveal their positions, jamming or deceiving missile systems, and switching between active and passive modes to complicate enemy kill chains. Against dense Russian and Chinese surface-to-air missile systems, such as S-500, S-400, S- 300, Buck, HQ-19, FK-3, and HQ-16, 
This capability can create corridors of reduced threat, allowing ingress and egress at lower risk. With the ability to switch roles from air defense to strike and suppression of enemy air defenses, the Gripen E is capable of executing the kinds of multi-role missions required by fast-changing battlefield conditions in Ukraine or in Taiwan. The Gripen E's survivability does not rely on stealth alone. Instead, it leverages electronic warfare, speed, and smart tactics to survive in contested zones. Gripen versus Russian and Chinese fighters and against Russian Su-57, J-20, and FC-31 fighters, the Gripen E offers multiple tactical advantages thanks to its superior sensor fusion, passive tracking, situational awareness, radar advantages, and EW protection. Against the MiG-31, J-16, J-10C, J-15, Su-30SM, and Su-35, which rely on visual range combat, the Gripen E provides early tracking of these aircraft and the look-first, shoot-first advantage, reducing the effectiveness of Russian and Chinese origin radars and missiles. Visit www.globaldefensecorp.com. Follow us on YouTube, X, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn.